coming out to the grand opening and the ribbon cutting for our new police, long awaited new police headquarters. Um, at first, like this, Call up uh, Mayor Frank Lanziano to say a few words and acknowledge a few people that are here. I'll be brief. No, you guys don't like to hear me anyway. Um, there are several dignitaries that would have been here. Um, we there was another um, grand opening. I'm sorry, um, groundbreaking of another police department, which they've already committed to. So uh, I just thank everybody that. Um, I came out today, uh, especially uh, Senator Sarlo couldn't be here. He's down in Trenton right now trying to fix the budget. Good luck to him. Uh, and I will turn it back to the chief. I appreciate the council coming out. We have one of the finest police departments in the country. And, um, you know, Lynnhurst and East Rutherford, they're good too, because I see Mikey Carino back there. Okay, thank, thank you, Mayor. Uh, now to, uh, to do this right, we're going to call up from the Church of St. Mary, Father Michael Creter, to offer a blessing for everybody. Before asking God's blessing on our new police headquarters and on all those who serve our Rutherford community, allow me first of all to offer some words of thanks in the name of every Rutherfordian for the protection and security that the Rutherford police provide for all of us. St. Mary Church is so grateful for all who risked their lives, all of you, to defend and preserve us, that we dedicated an outdoor statue to St. Michael the Archangel, the patron of uh, protector of police, both those in law enforcement and the military, to which the Chief Russo attended uh, two years ago as a dedication. You always welcome to us come there and drive by it, on the English street side of the church, the bright, and the bells, and all of those who live over the lives to safeguard the rights of other people. In fact, there's still Easter time, the tradition in the church, and the most important, so as we know that our building is in the United States, we have the St. Patrick's Red Court, Valentine's Day, the Italian flag colors, Columbus, but right now it's written in gold, the sod, and the, uh, the, the pillars. But tonight, we usually reserve blue only for the Blessed Virgin Mary, but in honor of all the policemen and police women, especially our fine children in Westford, our church will be bathed in blue. So, so in humble trust and also a good news faithfulness to the law enforcement and social honor, our which most likely is that is Christ. Oh God, Source of all grace and holiness, look kindly on your servants who have constructed this new police headquarters who only find safety and security, help and hope, justice and peace. May all those who work here and all those who do business here always experience the joy and reward of those who put their trust in you and of those who strive to live and uphold your commandments. Grace to you, send your holy angels under the leadership. St. Michael the Archangel, our protector and defender in battle, to watch over all law enforcement and all who come to this place. Let's also be pray for who are gathered here today, those who have constructed this beautiful building, those who work on it, those who come to where they need the residents of God who have made it possible. Let's just all be pray for you are God forever and ever. I know sometimes uh, in New York, I can see on the news that uh, people throw water at in this respect. I'm going to speak to you today out of love and gratitude. to say a few words and acknowledge some of the uh, so many individuals that made this building happen. Thank you, Chief. Uh, thank you, everyone, for coming out today. Um, wow, when I started here in 2018, this was just a discussion, a concept, a vision. 
by March of 2019, we had engaged our design team. So I want to you know, thank RSC Architects who are here today, John Companion, Jeff Schleck, and you know, Chris, Chris Brand of Design This Beautiful Building today. Uh, as we went through that process, uh, gotten ready to uh, want to build this, we engaged our construction management team, uh, thank them wholeheartedly for all the hard work. We have from MAST, uh, we have Ted Damaruki, and uh, Joe Brochek. Thank you for all your hard work in uh, helping the borough uh, put together a beautiful building and then getting us through to this, to this day. And then we engaged our contractor, Epic. Uh, tremendous job. Uh, professionals throughout the entire process. Bill Morris, Eddie Enderall, Casey Foley, thank you for helping us get this thing together today. Hell of a job. Uh, it's been a it's been a hard labor of love for all of us. Um, we had to deal with a pandemic, which led to a couple delays. Uh, we were actually scheduled to have this day, May of 2022. So just by uh, pandemic and supply chain and issues that were challenging throughout, but everyone's professional through it all. I uh, just want to thank you. Uh, but you know. Most importantly, I want to thank you know, our governing body, mayor and council, for giving us the support to make this happen and uh, you know, providing the funding. And then, last but not least, Chief John Russo. Uh, you know, been by my side. More importantly, he has been at the forefront of this project from day one. This is his vision. This is every detail in this building. He has been on point, part of every discussion. and. Uh, I, you know, we couldn't have gotten here without John Russo, so thank you, Chief. Thank you all. Thank you, Bob. Um, I do want to acknowledge uh, we do have quite a few law enforcement in addition to uh, my, my department here and, and some of our retired officers that mean a lot to us. They're here as well. We're going to have a photo op as a group uh, after this. Uh, but we have some of our uh, our mutual aid departments are here. Lynn Hurst, Carl Stat, East Rutherford, Woodridge, and the Chiefs, thanks for coming out. We have our undersheriff here representing the Bergen County Sheriff's Department, Prosecutor Rosella, I see him hiding back there. I get the hint, you do not want to say a few words today, but we all appreciate your support, especially of this department in Bergen County. So, this, is, uh, this has been a long time in the making. And I am very happy and relieved that we are finally transitioning into what will be our new home and which will be here for many generations to come. It goes without mention that this would not have been possible if not for the commitment of our mayor, Mayor Frank Lindziato, our current council members who are all here today, as well as several other previous town officials and council members who held office during this long process. And the conversations we're always about doing what was right for this department, as well as what was right for the borough as a whole. And I firmly believe that you, as a council, uh, got it right. Uh, these, did, these were definitely difficult decisions, and I applaud you. For me, this process has been exciting, enlightening, and stressful. And I would be remiss if I did not mention a few individuals who are extremely helpful. First, I'd like to mention Bob Kakaleski, you know, our board administrator, he just spoke, he acknowledged me and I appreciate that. Uh, but he has been involved in this process from day one as well, and an integral part to getting us to this point. Joseph Grasick from Mass Construction Management. Joseph led our uh, construction oversight team and always was very responsive to me, even when I was sticking my nose in places where I probably shouldn't have been. I would say that during most of this build, I was calling Joseph at least once a day, and uh, he never, never blocked my calls. So thank you, Joseph. Eddie Enderl, who, uh, who ran the construction team from Epic. Uh, Eddie was great. Anything my officers or I requested, uh, he was immediately on it. Just a pleasure to deal with, and a wealth of construction experience and knowledge. Then we have Rich Piccoli and his team from GTBM. 
Rich not only helped envision what we needed in terms of IT and its infrastructure in this building, he and his team put together a state-of-the-art system that will prove to be a model for uh, future builds. They really took pride in what they put into this building, uh, and you'll be able to see that shortly. Rich has been our longtime IT provider here in the borough, and I've always appreciated his dedication to, to my department and his hometown. And then finally, I need to uh, mention the members of this department. It's been uh, close to 10 years that we've uh, vacated our lockers, our locker rooms, our bathrooms, and our roll call room. Not having any idea it would take this long to navigate these waters. Throughout this whole process, they were extremely understanding, they were patient, and most of all, they were professional. I thank you for your actions during this time. And without a doubt, you deserve and you have earned this building. In closing, I would like to just say that not only does this beautiful and appropriate headquarters represent these officers' commitment to our community, their commitment to this profession, as well as to our local partners who I mentioned that are here today, this building is also an honorable and heartfelt reflection of those officers who came before us. And ultimately, this building will be a vision for those who have yet to come. I am confident that this building will treat its occupants as it was designed to, and in the way that they deserve to be treated. And in turn, will ensure that we continue to provide the services that this community has come to expect from us. I thank you all for uh, coming today. I hope uh, you can stick around while we take a few pictures. Come on inside, walk around the building, take a look at uh, what these professionals have done, and um, grab a light bite to eat, courtesy of Epic. Eddie and, and Epic is all, all in the lobby right here. Thank you all. We're going, to, uh, we're going to cut the ribbon now, in a ceremonial ribbon cutting, and then I'm going to ask my department, along with my retired members, to come on up for a uh, department photo.